the max price of a radio was 3,200 shillings. The higher purchase price was 115% of the max price. Mutai bought the radio on the higher purchase terms. He paid a deposit of 1,680 shillings and four equal monthly installments. How much monthly was how much money was each month installment? The first thing you need to establish in this question is that he bought this thing via higher purchase. So the higher purchase price is 115%. So let's get that. So that will be 115 over 100 multiplied by 3200 over 1. So double zero cancel double zero. So when you do 115 multiplied by 32, that's um, 115 times 32, you're going to get um, 3680. Now you can see this is actually the higher purchase price. So higher purchase price price is this. So now if he paid 1680, so we're going to do uh, 3680 minus 1680. You can see this will give us what 2000 shillings. Now, and he paid the remaining balance, which is 2,000 shillings. This is the balance. He paid it in four installments. So you're going to do 2,000 divided by four to give you what? That's um, 500 shillings. So the installment he was paying every month, it's um, 500 shillings. And that's our final answer. Okay, so um, the next question says... A road measuring 1.5 kilometer is represented on a map by a line measuring 7.5 cm. Okay, so what is the scale of the map? Now, um, what you need to understand here is uh, we want to get the actual scale. So let's convert um, our kilometers to uh, centimeters. So 1.5 kilometer to meters first we're going to do 1.5 times 1000 and that's going to give us 1500 meters so let's convert 1500 meters to centimeters this will give us uh, 1500 multiplied by 100 so this is going to give us 150000 so that's uh, 150000 centimeter so all you need to do here is uh, 150,000 divided by um, 7.5, okay? So to, to do this, the easiest way to do this is just multiply both sides by 10. So I'll do here by 10 and I'll multiply here by 10. It's going to give me 1500000 divided by 75, okay? So here, 75 here is 1, 75 here into 150 is going to give me 2. Then I have my 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So my final answer is 20,000. So it's going to be 1 is to 20,000. So the correct answer here is going to be what? D. So the next question says, uh, the table shows postal charge for sending parcels. Now, I want you to notice uh, these are the tables in the mass and their charging nice. says The wholesaler sent three parcels weighing 2 kg, 11 kg, and 37 kg. How much money was the wholesaler charged for sending the parcels altogether? The first thing you need to know is um, if you sum up the total, because he sent them together, is 2 plus 11 plus 37. Now, this is going to give you, what, 50 kg. So, for which one? Now, if you check here, it doesn't have 50 kg up to this. So, it says um, for each additional 1 kg or part thereof up to 50 kg. So, the first thing is you need to take up for the 30 kg. So, um, for 30, the 30 kg out of the 50 kg is going to spend um, 525. Then, for 30 kg. Now, for the remaining 20 kg, remember it says for each one, it's going to charge 19. So, this will be 20 times 19, which is going to give a total of uh, 
that's uh, 380 okay that's 380 so what you're going to do now is to sum up uh, 525 plus 380 now 5 plus 0 is going to give us um, 5 2 plus 8 0 carry 1 and you're going to have 9 so the final answer is going to be 905 shillings okay so now take us to the next question and the next question says the sitting capacity of a matatu was decreased from 14 passengers to 11 passengers what was the percentage decrease in sitting capacity now recall the original original or initial sitting initial it's going to be what that's uh, 14 the new will now be what 11 so to get the change decrease or let's say decrease will be initial minus new so this is going to give us a 14 minus 11 which is what 3 so percentage decrease decrease is going to be decrease divided by the initial times 100 over 1 now this is going to give us um when you do this this is going to give you the decrease is 3 all over initial is 14 times 100 over 1 now if you divide here by 2 you're going to have 7 you divide here by 2 you're going to have 50 so this is going to be 150 over 7 now 7 into 150 you're going to have um, 2 remember 1 that's um, 7 into 10 is going to be 1 remember 3 so it's going to be 21 3 over 7 final answer so the correct answer here is going to be a so that'll take us um, to the next question